yeah, it means a lot, obviously, uh, to get acknowledged by the league to for the success I'm having personally and for the team. It's it's great for myself and the gaffer. So, yeah, very pleasing with first award. So, hopefully, many more will come. It's the second month that it's been a Rangers double yeah. in the championship. How long do you think you can keep that going? Yeah, well, as long as we're playing well and. Like I say, any individual on our team, I think personally could win it. We're, we're a great set of lads. Uh, everyone's performing really well. So if we can continue, brilliant. Hopefully we can get a clean sweep through the season. But it's it's going to be a tough ask. But it's, it's down to us how we play and how we how much effort we put in. But no, it would be nice. It's I think it's it's good to have. Do you see that as a, as another challenge that you can try and keep winning these every single season? Yeah, I I, I didn't really think much of it when I first come. But obviously, getting the award, you do want more. It's, you, you can never have too many trophies, can you? So. I'm going to keep working hard, keep putting the effort in and hopefully, like you say, every month and it'll be nice to pick up the award as well. Double figures already, we're only just in October. How have things gone so well for you? How have you settled in so quickly? Um, I think it's just um, the way we play football. I think we're very attacking, attack-minded side. We're young, we're hungry. We've all got the same ambitions, the same goals that we want to succeed as much as we can this season. So I think the way the gaffers got were got were playing, the confidence. I think everything everything's just clicked for me, which is which is massive and playing games, the run of games that I needed has, has been crucial and I think I always believe in myself that I score goals if I play games and, and thankfully that's happening. Yeah. How much have you benefited from a little bit of consistency and you obviously recently in your career moved around a little bit, a few loan spells here and there is is stability key for you? Yeah, definitely. I think I'm one of them players like like most strikers that thrives on playing games and when when they come and like you say the the chances that we're creating the attacking threat that we've got it's it's I'm going to get chances and then like you say it's just up to me to put them in the net so yeah it's, it's going well I'm really happy and the the past two two or three years I've not really been playing consistently wherever I've been so to come here and be stable and playing at a club like Rangers is is fantastic top of the table just now top of the championship just now how big is the desire in you to be playing in the Premiership next season Premiership for this football club. Yeah, oh, massive! It's uh, it's what we want to achieve. It's it's our main goal this year to get promoted, and um, it's it's down to us to keep that to keep that going. I mean, we've we've won nine from nine, and obviously we've got through the first round of fixtures unscathed. So it's up to us to to keep working hard over the the next few months and, and keep kicking on. But we want to get promoted, and and that's all the boys want to do. And crack on next year and have a another right go as well. Winning all the league games so far does that make it? easier to keep on winning and perhaps stay like that until the end of the season or does it put more pressure on with each game that comes because people are waiting for that first defeat I think it it comes with more pressure but a nice pressure really do you know what I mean it's it's better than losing games at the end of the day you, to keep winning is, is fantastic it's it, it drives us on we want to want to keep the run going we've all got targets we've all got goals and mine is in us as a team we want to win as many games as we can and, and that's what we're going to go out to do but like you say teams are going to Set up different ways, going to have game plans to try and to, to try and counteract that. So it's up, up to us to break them down and um, and really try and get the three points. So it's going to be difficult, but it's going to be a nice challenge as well. Do you think anyone can catch you? Is it conceivable that anyone can catch you just now? Um, I think anybody could catch you, but we're not going to let let them catch you. Do you know I mean? We're going to keep going out there week in week out to get the three points and try and win every game possible. Really. So if we keep doing that, then no, no one's going to catch you. But like you say, it's it's going. It's a long season. It's up to us to take a one game at a time, and we're going to do that. But we all know how tough it how tough it can be. So it's up to us to just keep our heads on, work hard, and um, just take it each uh, week by week. As a former Sunderland youngster, what are you making of what's happening down here just now? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a shame, really. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's it's a massive club, and I'm thankful for everything they did for me. But it's it's it's, it's a real shame because, like you say, the support that they get, the fans. Great set of fans, um, so hopefully they can get the right man in and get get a bit of stability and, and really push on and, and get the wins that they need because the last couple of years they've been down there at the wrong side of the table when the structure, the the setup that they've got down there is fantastic and hopefully they can they can turn that around. Are you a yeah, I'm a Sunderland fan. Obviously, I grew up playing for them and watched them throughout my whole career. So uh, it's it's a shame, like I say, for where they are, but hopefully they can get the right man in and. And climb up the table. Is there anyone you'd like to see specifically coming in? Um, I think there's a number of candidates out there, but I'm just want somebody a bit bit of stability going to be there for a few years, get the right people in, and because we've got a good set of lads that I know a couple out from when I was in, they really want to work hard and and they know how big the club is, so get the right man in and, and work hard, and then hopefully they'll be all right.
Nigel Pearson's one of your favourites of the job, that's somebody you've worked with quite a few times. What, would he suit the job, you think? Do you think? Yeah, I, th I, th I think, yeah, he, he would. He's, he's the type of man that yeah, gets you hard work and do the basics right, get the team working hard together as a unit, press high, work hard, and all the fundamentals you really need when you're down the bottom, I guess. Do you know what I mean? He's he done well with Leicester getting them promoted, and then we had the same structure, same setup, and then um, going into the championship. And he, he shows what he's done when, he, when he's got a bit of quality as well. So, yeah, I think they just need that stability, someone that's going to get them working as a team, working hard, and you never know the results will come. Mark Warburton's won the Manager of the, the Month award. What, what's he like to work with? What are his qualities? Yeah, he's brilliant. He's a, he's a real man management, talks to you individually as a team. You have your own certain drills to, to work on. So since I've come here, it's been a real a real learning curve for me and how he, how he approaches football. And I'm very grateful that I've got this opportunity to work with the, the manager because the detail that goes into training, the drills that we do, is, it's it's fantastic. It all gears up to the, the game on the Saturday. So I can't say anything bad. It's It's been fantastic. I'm loving every day and it's a, it's a real joy to come to train. It's 20 to 1 to get a Liverpool job. <laughs> Nah, uh, obviously it's, it's it's recognition of how fantastic he's done really, but we want him to stay here, I love him to stay here and listen, I think Rangers are going to benefit from him for being here for a number of years, so yeah, obviously he's going to get linked to good jobs because he's a he's a good manager, so well done, but it's, he's going to, I'm sure he's, he'll stay here.